but let me scratch that. Let me try this again. Jennifer Lopez wants half of Ben Affleck's fortune for divorce revenge. She spent all the money, and so she feels that he needs to pay her back in the divorce for her spending more money. But she was the one that couldn't control her own spending. So he's frugal. He wants to save money. He doesn't want to dump it all. She decides she wants to buy everything. And then she turns around and says, okay, you need to pay for all my extravagant spending. Uh, absolutely unbelievable. So we'll jump right into this one. Um, don't forget tonight, Saturday night at the movies, we're going to do the 2021 Dune and then the 2024 Dune back to back. It's going to be about a five hour movie night. Uh, so make sure to jump over and check that out. Um, also, my Odd Man Out news stream, um, we've got about 20,000 subscribers over there, but several of my videos are getting between 80 and 90,000 views already. So non-supporters are, are coming over to check it out. Um, these are gonna be the Odd Man Out is gonna have the news clips from the live streams that I'm doing from Rumble. And then locals will have everything like always. So if you wanna keep up on my news stories, they're gonna be over here. And for those of you on the Better Bachelor uh, YouTube channel, I'm not gonna be putting much up over there anymore. You know, when you get a little bit, um, when I was a retail jewelry manager, I was making good money, but it wasn't the job I wanted to do at the time. I wanted to be a network engineer. So I took a pay cut of about half, and then I became a network engineer. And eventually I was more successful than I was before. It turned out very well for me. And then I said, I don't want to be a network engineer anymore. I want to travel the world and do something with my life. And I spent the next 18 months traveling around the globe. And then so I, as a network engineer making six figures, I said, you know what? I don't want to do this anymore. I want to go do something else. Well, I'm drifting away from Better Bachelor because there are younger creators out there that are now on TikTok and <clears throat> on Instagram and new YouTube creators and people on Twitter and meme pages and like everything is sharing what I started out sharing four or five years ago on Better Bachelor. So now there's younger people, people that want to be on TikTok and other places that I I don't want to even install that app. Uh, so they're taking up the mantle and carrying on what I started. And I think that's great. And so I could put this, I mean, I am going to put this, the Ben JLo video over on Better Bachelor on YouTube but there's really not much I want to talk about anymore. My news stories are doing very well. I like talking about the news. I think it's more important than Jennifer Lopez taking half of Ben Affleck's fortune. And so I'm going to be focusing on the news channel. So if you are on the Better Bachelor YouTube channel, maybe you want to come over to Odd Man Out News. I'll still be doing broadcasts there every day. Um, several segments. Yesterday was three videos. Day before that, I think was three or four uh, so if you want to follow along, great. And if you say, no, I'm only into, you know, the, the ladies doing bad things and dating stuff, then great. There's a lot of other young content creators out there uh, that are doing that for you. And I think that's awesome. And I'm ready to, to pass on the torch and, and start doing something new with my life. Because I don't know if you can tell, but on, on a lot of the videos that I've been doing lately on the Bachelor stuff, I'm bored. Like been there, done there, seen it. We've all seen it. I'll let somebody else handle that stuff. I want to talk about things that impact your wallet. You know, even if you're a single guy, there's things that impact your wallet, things that impact your happiness. Um, you know, you can only stay away from politics and all the other crap until all of a sudden you realize your borders are open, your financial markets are collapsing, the banks are in trouble, and you say, gee, maybe that's something I should pay attention to instead of Ben, ben Affleck getting half his fortune yanked away from him. So... That's where we are. If you're on Better Bachelor, uh, as far as Rumble, that's all the same. It's all one channel. But if you're on YouTube, you're going to have to come to my news program if you want to see me talk anymore. Otherwise, other content creators will, will carry on the mantle uh, for me in that department. Um, from uh, MSN.com, Jennifer Lopez wants half of Ben Affleck's $150 million fortune in a revenge move after spending the lion's share of the money. She's worth $400 million, estimates are. He's worth $150 million, and she wants money from him. Now, I hope he can get half her crap or a portion of it. But, you know, they've been on and off again. That he, he went back and got married. There's, of course, the meme picture of him, and most people think this is probably after he got in an argument 
with with J Lo about something, um, where he's out uh, having a smoke outside of I don't know their their uh, studio apartment or uh, downtown where they're working or something going on, and then there's a video of him. Uh, she gets into the car and he slams the car door and then walks around to the other side to get in and drive off. I didn't get that video clip for you. But this man has not been ha happy for a long time, and it's only going to get worse. So once again, you don't go, you don't go back to X's. They say the fairy tale ending for Benefer 2.0 seems to have gone up in smoke just two years after their stunning Las Vegas wedding. J Lo and Ben Affleck are uh, Ben Affleck are reportedly heading for a split, and things might get be getting a bit messy. The couple has not been photographed together for over a month now, and sources suggest the marriage is over. Now, a bombshell report claims uh, Lopez isn't shying away from demanding a hefty chunk of Ben Affleck's for fortune in the divorce settlement. I like how they call his $150 million a fortune, which it is. What's her $400 million then? She certainly didn't get very much money for that latest movie she did over on Netflix. Um, Jennifer Lopez's revenge on Ben Affleck. Jen and Ben are living separately now that their shared mansion in Beverly Hills is back on the market. Ben, who stars in The Accountant 2, is renting a place in Brentwood near his ex-wife Jennifer Garner and their kids. Meanwhile, the pop star Jen is staying in her L.A. home with her children, Max and M.M. Uh, according to a source from Radar Online, the Jenny from the Block singer wants half of Ben's nearly $150 million fortune, even though her, uh, she herself is worth much more, about $400 million. Some see this move as a way for her to get back at him, Claiming Now, this is the part that's crazy. Listen to this. Some see this as a move, as a way for her to get back at him, claiming she handled more of the financial responsibilities during their short-lived marriage. <clears throat> and they say, Jennifer Lopez spent the lion's share for a $60 million mansion. A person with knowledge of the matter suggests that Jennifer Lopez spent more money during their brief period together. The insider alleges Lopez, who re recently canceled her expensive Los Angeles residency, took on the majority of the financial responsibility. They depict Ben Affleck as a huge cheapskate who constantly complained about Lopez's spending habits. Apparently, to avoid his grumbling, the driven diva covered most expenses to maintain their luxurious lifestyle. So here, to me, at least from that sentence, it sounds like she says, hey, we're going to get this $60 million place. And he's like, we don't need a place that expensive. Let's get something for $10 million. And she says, no, I'm going to spend $60 million. And then on the divorce, she says, well, I spent $60 million on that place. You owe me half, $30 million. And it sounds like he's saying, I didn't want to spend that in the first place. Like, you're the one. And, and guys, whether you're married, whether you're single, whether you've dated, you know, guys can be pretty low key when it comes to expenses. Like if you take away, everybody has to pay rent, everybody has to buy food. But I know personally, I know personally of women that every day when I was in the workforce, in the work world, every day I would see them walk in with a Starbucks coffee that's what, four, five, six, seven, whatever they are, dollars. When we could go right downstairs in the main cafeteria of the building that I worked in at Cisco, and we could go right downstairs and order a coffee and it was like 50 cents and they would add the syrups and the ice and the blending and the mochas and the creams and heavy creams and all the things you could want. It was 50 cents. So a lot of us guys would go down there and then in the middle of the afternoon when we wanted to refill, we had, you know, flavored creamers or whatever in the fridge. We'd go make a pot of coffee with Cisco's own like house brand coffee, which was not great, but it wasn't bad. We guys would go over and make our coffee out of that, and the girls would go to lunch. Not that there were many girls in network engineering, but there was, I don't know, half a dozen or a dozen of them. They would go off to lunch, and they would come back with, wait for it, wait for it, another 5 or $7 coffee. So guys were you know getting a couple of good coffees in the day for five, uh, 50 cents, and the women were going out, and they're coming back after 10 or 12 or $15. It's the same thing, whether it's makeup, whether it's the 17 products for the hair that doesn't look any better than most men's I know that wash their hair with a bar of soap and a, and a squeegee. Like they just, they find ways to waste money. And it sounds like Jennifer Lopez did the same thing and then says, I couldn't keep my spending in check 
you need to pay for half of that. And she's calling it revenge because she couldn't control her own spending habits. This is why so many men, and, and Ben, like a dummy, went back to her, got married again. I don't know what happened to their first divorce, nor do I really care. He went back again and got hammered for it. So when guys say, you know what, I'm not really interested in dating uh, or marriage or whatever, I'd rather save up a couple hundred bucks a month, go hit the uh, online pages, or if you're in Amsterdam, go walk, take a walk down to the Red District and say, hey, you know what, that's a great way to, to spend money. I know exactly how much I'm, being, I'm spending. It's gonna cost me X amount of dollars per month, however much I wanna dedicate to it, and there's not any surprises. Where the women, you know how the women are with that. Uh, they say one of the little known secrets is Jennifer paid for much of their marital expenses and now she feels he owes her, the source claimed. She's adding up all those little private jet bills she puts on her plastic, the hotels and the meals, the clothes, the coffee runs, the gas. The high cost of living was done on her dime. She paid the lion's share for that 60 million mansion they bought too. Ben took so much money out of her, at least that's what she's saying. Well, if Ben is a penny pincher, and she then she wants to turn around and says, oh, well, he's uh, he's um, he owes me all this money because of how much money we've spent. We know that line. My money is our money. Her money is her money. My money is also her money. <laughs> I mean, that's how it goes. And that's what that sounds like she's doing to him. The report suggests that the rumored split has made the star realize the situation. Before this, Lopez's relatives were said to have told her to move forward from Affleck, thinking she shouldn't continue to put effort into someone who gave up so easily in their marriage. Uh, but how many times do we hear the, the woman becomes insufferable, the guy says, I want out of here, but I can't leave because it's gonna cost me half of everything, and he just taps out, and he says, I'm done. Like, this is not working for me. That sounds like what Ben did uh, on this stuff. They say, while we don't know if it's truly about money or revenge, the situation for the couple who rekindled their own old, old flames and married in 2022, they, God, they didn't even make it two more years. It doesn't seem to be progressing well as they continue to spend time alone. Affleck returned to his production house without his wedding ring again, while Lopez, after spending her 4th of July alone in the Hamptons, is focusing on self-love and her work socializing on Instagram. Um, J-Lo's like 50-something. Now, granted, I, I've I've seen some of her workout videos. She still seems to be in, you know, quite good looking and in very good shape. But she's also like part of the Hollywood elite, so I'm sure she has plenty of money for chefs and and uh, dietitians and trainers and everything else. You don't go back. You never, never go back. And it's going to probably cost Ben. If this plays out the way it sounds, it's going to cost Ben half of the money he's got left. And and. It, Again, don't get me wrong. I'm not crying any tears for Ben Affleck and his remaining $75 million. I mean, most of us could save our entire lives and live like paupers and, and work our tails off and never see $1 million. But, you know, it's just, a, it's it's never worth it for these guys. And they, you'd think being in Hollywood, this, this tells you everything you need to know about Hollywood actors. Hollywood has been a nightmare for divorces and problems since the 80s when no fault divorce came in and the child support and the mandatory um, alimony payments until like your wife either ex-wife either remarries or is like not living anymore. And some of the people say, some of these women say, I'm, I'm never getting married again. I'm gonna keep on his dime for the rest of my life. It's been going on like that by 20 or 30 years. And you got these knuckleheads that go back out there and they're like, I'm gonna give this another go. I, I haven't run out of all my millions of dollars yet. It shows you that Hollywood people are very good actors and apparently very stupid people. Mm -hmm.